good morning to you. Welcome to Monday. And guess what? It's not even raining. No, not a drop. I mean, it is grey out there, but no rain. The water still is quite high against the bank. It's just much higher than it normally is. Hello Fresh is coming today, in fact in about half an hour, so I'm going to get my shoes on, walk around there. Before Hello Fresh comes, I'm going to go and do the recycling. Get the trolley. if I've actually chosen these meals or if HelloFresh has chosen them for us. I've got a feeling that I chose them a couple of weeks ago. So it is Monday, I think it's the, is it the 5th today? I think it's the 5th, let's have a look. It is the 5th of October. I would call this my run up to my birthday week. Anyway, next year when we are out in the boat, we want to do some drone fitting. I didn't want to spend a fortune on a drone. I have got a, a nice one, but it's, a, it's really a training drone. So what I did is I found this one, which comes with this control, which you clip your phone into. Um, and it's it's a couple of hundred quid new, and I picked it up for 40 quid. I don't know if it works, and it's got a camera on the bottom and everything. I'm gonna give this a charge up, see what it's like, give it a try, and if I get on, if I get on with this and I'll get on with my other one, I would then probably get rid of both of these and buy a, a, a decent one. I haven't told Mrs. Warner. I haven't told Mrs. Warner it, but she'll know tomorrow morning when she edits this video. Okay, let's go see what's in the box. It's just starting to rain. Around the chicane. Make it safely to the boat. Ugh. Do you ever feel like it's Groundhog Day? Whenever I do this on a Monday, I think you think you've watched this a million times. Anyway, let's see what's in the box. I love it when I can't actually remember what we've ordered. Let's have a look. Thai roast chicken, bacon rigatoni with aubergines, tomato and feta. That sounds lovely. Mango chutney glazed chicken wraps. Oh, cold can and cottage pie. Oh, Glenn will love these. And crispy chicken and chili and chive sauce. Chili and chives. Now, there's two things that I wouldn't have put together. That's me done today. I'm not sure about the uh, the drone. There seems to be a little bit of an issue with it. But anyway, I'm going to leave it on charge all night and see if it's just because it hasn't been charged for a, a few years and see how it goes. It just seems to be one of the propellers. That it doesn't seem to be connecting up very well. And when it does, it seems to be three three propellers going around, not four. We'll see how it goes. I might be able to fix it. It might be just broken wire. You never know. As so often happens in a narrow boat, down here, honestly, I'm sweltering. It's like I can hardly breathe. Down that end of the boat, freezing. I mean, we've got the fan, but I wish there was a better way to get the heat down. Any suggestions, let us know. One last thing to do today, I need to pop into the printers. That's me done, let's go back to the marina. time and we've got a hello fresh meal left over from last week because we had that extra takeaway at chloe's uh, so i'm gonna make it for lunch which is great because i'm 
starving. Oh, it's actually this one and I'm so looking forward to it. You know when all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm very hungry. Right, let's get these wedges done. Right, let's get those in the oven. Oh my goodness, this is what we call a lunchtime feast. Oh, well, it's a bit of an excessive lunch. Don't worry, I'm not going to eat it all. Do you know, it's Glenn's birthday a week today. I have no clue what to get him. Here comes Mr. Warner. Well, that's mighty good timing because the kettle's on. Thank you for all your good wishes about us becoming continuous cruisers. I am so excited. So I thought as the week like unfolds, I'll tell you a bit more about some of our plans. First question, when are we going? It would make sense to go March next year. It would make sense to do that if you're not aware there's um some closures on the canal network over winter called winter closures funnily enough so it would make sense to go either the beginning of the end of march that is what glenn's initial thoughts were i wasn't happy with that to be honest so mr warner then agreed with my good idea that we should go at the beginning of february weather permitting as he said if the canal is frozen we can't go anywhere that's that's understandable but we're not going to know that so we've been aiming for the beginning of february but mr warner's the first time to hear this well you and mr warner hearing it at the same time i've been sitting here thinking if we manage to get everything done that we need to get done there is quite a lot we need to upgrade our solar we need to sort work out we need I mean, logistics and we need to get a new fridge that's more energy efficient there's jobs to do but if we got all those done i was just wondering how amazing it would be to leave on the first of january <laughs> I knew Mr Warner would say that I knew he'd say that I'm, I'm going to investigate that fully I mean it would just be so great I would just love it so we'll uh, we'll come back to you on the exact date when we're leaving pencil 1st of January in <laughs> So we just walked round to take um, to take the toilet. It's a glamorous life, this boat in Malarkey. Anyway, we just met two other neighbours who were walking their rubbish round. So we've just stood outside and had a chat and I was telling them that I'd like to leave on the 1st of January. Righty, didn't cook dinner tonight. We had that massive lunch and me and Big Glenn were both full. It's now like 8 o'clock and we're like, oh, what should we have? So got some brie i've got some bacon i'm gonna just do a brie and bacon wrap it's not it's not dinner but we're just not hungry so there's no point cooking a dinner if we just don't want to eat it <laughs> i've just had the most funniest email <laughs> have a look at this <laughs> have a, come and have a look at this glenn <laughs> Good evening. Evening. I'm Dave. And I'm Louise. And we live aboard. Our boat changing pace. And this is a message for... Lisa. And Glenn. From a life full of meaning. We've noticed that you go to the pub and you have little jokes to tell and we do feel like we're missing out. So we've got a little offering for you. Excuse me. Hello, I am the Wild Mouth Frog, and I have lived in this pond forever. Today, I shall be going out to advance the gate. Hello, <laughs> uh, what are you, and what do you eat? I'm a cow, and I eat grass. <laughs> Oh, that is 
so interesting. <laughs> I can't carry on a little bit. Another animal. Hello. What are you? And what do you eat? I'm a giraffe and I eat leaves from the trees. <laughs> wow, that is so interesting. <laughs> I shall carry on a bit more. Hello, <laughs> what are you? And what do you eat? I'm an alligator and I eat white mouth frogs. Oh, you don't see many of them around here, do you? That's as bad as one of them. Well, on that note, I'm going to say good night.